nice warm welcome to episode six of Five Minutes With. Uh, we're going direct now to a contractor to find out how they cope with COVID-19 and how they're operating in this current crisis with their machinery and adapting. Uh, we're not going south. No, no, no. No, we're not going east. Nope. And we're not going west. We're going north. We're going up north, all the way up to Cumbria, I think it is. And we're checking out Northwest Arb Services. Two guys there. Um, we've got Mr. Tom Newbury, a bit of a hitter on Instagram, and his boss, Steve Hodgson. Okay, we've got connection. Let's go live. Steve Hodgson, how are you today? I'm not too bad yourself. All right, thanks. I know we've just had about 10 minutes, uh, maybe an hour, of trying to get your tech working up there. More than an hour. We hey, I tell you what, you should see my kitchen table. It's like a spaghetti junction with all these wires over it now. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have an additional box going on over here, which is Steve's audio, and then he's got the visual here. So if anybody wondered, that's not an additional person. Steve's two today. We've got two Steve's. So, I'm, just too uh, awesome to, I'm just too awesome to come through on one device, you see, so it needs two to cope with my amazing personality and good looks that's all i can say right how did you put up with him tom oh it goes out saying it's bloody obvious I'm saying we've nothing. Got tom with us as well how you doing tom nice to see you mate not so bad good to see you so tom newbury in as well um tree surgeon uh social media influencer and um and overall uh, legend up there in the northwest so we're looking forward to speaking to you both today so good guys um it's a quick hi from me and it's a uh, it's a quick thank you for spending the time with us today. We want to find out today, and you've agreed to come on and find out a little bit about the industry, how things have changed, how things have moved forward since the uh, outbreak of COVID-19, and find out a little bit about the kit you're using, how you're using the machinery, how are you getting through this. So to begin with, from a business point of view, Steve, how are you coping? How's it going? How have things changed? It's been, uh, it's been, quite, a, been, been quite an upheaval, if I was honest. Um, uh, probably what three months ago, you sort of when all this kicked off, we just uh, stared at a black hole and thought, "Shit, what happens next?" And we've really sort of, um, you know, jumped on everything the, go the government's done to help us. But you've got to change your business now. You've got to change how you work. You've got to be smart. You've got to mechanise. You've got to find the most efficient way of doing everything. And that's what really we've been focused on. Um, talked talked a lot over with the, with the lads, uh, especially with Tom. You know, we we're really changing how we work because the world's changed and it's never it's not going back um you know we ha we've got a we, we do have a good array of kits you know i like to think we've got some some of the best the best equipment around from advance to chippers it's how you utilize everything that, that you have now efficiently i think my, my motto is work smart not hard yeah I agree. that is how we're really going to focus now from equipment to finance oh, no, it feels like i'm normally working pretty hard for you <laughs> uh, you claim you work hard. You'd have, you'd have to work hard. Sat on the event. <laughs> there's, there's have you got any idea? Have there. you got any idea how hard it is trying to move those levers? You know, you got a cup of coffee in one hand, and, you know, and you've got to move your levers with the other hand. It's very difficult multitasking at times. How do you think things are going to change for good moving forward? What couldn't we do? What we did do, and what we're going to have to do that we didn't do? Type thing? I think. I think that. <laughs> It's everything. I mean, something, something simple like social distancing, you know, this virus is not going to go away. So, so you've got to think to yourself, when, when you go to site, it's, it's, it's a job of three men and you only need one vehicle. But now you can't. You've got to take two vehicles. So you've then got additional costs. You've got to find a way to streamline because you can't just pass those costs on straight away to the clients, especially private clients. You know, our industry is very, very cutthroat. So you've got to rely on your reputation a lot more. Uh, rely on the, the quality of the service that you give. You can't just be a pikey and just come in and hack and slash. You've got to start offering more than just simply, well, come and put your trees down, missus. You've got to offer the full service and you've got to be educated as well. You've got to understand your industry. You've got to understand what you're offering. And it's, it's one of the big things that has always dogged our industry is the way that, you know, it, it, it does bring in some of the more undesirable elements of society, should we say. So you've got to rise above that and present to your clients a completely different approach. You know, it's not we're going to come down and cut your tree in. It's going to, right, well, what can we do for your tree if you want to save it? 
So, and that doesn't, that doesn't just apply to the private clients, that's commercial, that's the grounds maintenance contracts right across the board. So you've got to show your clients that you're offering savings, you're offering changes, you're offering professional, more professional ways of working. What machinery do you think will make your life easier with these new ways of working, Tom, moving forward? Is, is there such a thing or you don't have to use the machinery? Oh yeah, like I think we, well, I think we only realised by using the advance um, after we got it, it only then dawned on us how good a bit of kit it is, like something as simple as that, you know, that and any other kind of uh, multi-load type thing. It takes it takes a lot of the back, back ache out of work. It makes a lot of jobs a lot easier. Sometimes the, the little advance is doing the job of two or three men sometimes. Um, so that frees up men on site. It means you get jobs done quicker, sooner, less hassle, less less you know, work for the lads, if it's um, the machinery doing the job and one man, then it frees you up to do other things and you're fresher for another time. So what's probably the best bit of kit you've bought and since you've bought that bit of kit, you've not looked back, Steve, what's making you the money? Um, I would say definitely uh, at the moment, the Avant and probably the Timberwolf 280. I mean, you know, we've had, I've had Timberwolves for years, but their, their, their technology and the efficiency they put in their chippers now has certainly speeded things up. The Avant with its different attachments, like Tom was saying, I, you know, I'll give you a very brief example. You know, we did a job recently where four men for a day to, to deal with this rotten willow hedge. And it would have been a full on day, but they would have done it. Whereas two of us did that with the Avant and the tree shear. And, you know, five o'clock, that was it. We were out of there. And on top of that, um, we produced uh, three and a half lorry loads of wood chip as well. Okay, well, biomass, it's going for £25 a tonne. So you've got to, you know, that, that particular piece of equipment right now is probably the best thing that we have. And we are, I'm actually demoing another one next week, the 860i, the really big one. Thinking not now, yeah, but looking, certainly towards the end of the year with some of the work in the pipeline, so I can then hopefully utilise that machine. And, um, and also, it's really, really shiny. <laughs> and Tom, that helps on site then with what you're doing. It helps you uh, work more efficiently, get the job done a bit quicker. Absolutely, massively. Um, like I said, the, the, the Avant is probably the piece of kit at the moment that's made um, the biggest difference to how we work. Because, and, and as we do jobs as well, we're still taking it to jobs and um, uh, we're having to go with it and see, seeing what it will do. And you kind of, your eyes are opened up to what it can do you suddenly realize that oh well it can do this it could probably do this next job down the line and well that means that we might need one man less on the job or we can get the job done in one day instead of two so um yeah it, it definitely makes a, a massive difference i'd say and the the timberwolf 280 we upgraded from uh our old 190 and again that was like a big um, a big shock as well and um, going from the 190 to the 280 i know that um, it is an upgrade of a machine and it's a larger size machine but just having that increased capacity for for wood chip increased um biomass you know so we, we're getting more wood chip out of jobs whereas we would have ended up with more logs and you know not necessarily nice bits of timber but all small bits of timber off jobs that have come off um but now a, a lot of that most of that will Feed straight to the 280 and it's wood chip down the yard and off it goes for biomass and um, rather than ended up with loads of all sorts of bits of timber we're, we're, we're selling we're set obviously we're, we're, we're we have got no we're completely impartial um as a company but you're loving the timber wolf um why what is yeah. it about the wolf that you love why wolf why timber wolf um it's blue strong machines and <laughs> <laughs> yeah the blue i'm currently i'm currently let's on let's go into that there you go it's, yeah. In, 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 well, in all seriousness, um, it's just a corporate colour I've had ever since I set up 15 years ago. I've just liked blue. blue and well. one of the things that I decided was if, if every bit of kit that we can have is, is the same colour, you prevent a very professional image to your customers when you arrive. If you look good, you work good. If you work good, you feel good. If you feel good, you work good. It's a, it's a circle. And, and a lot of our clients do like, <laughs> stop laughing at me. <laughs> it's something I learned from the Marines, mate, you know. Oh, um, right, yeah, yeah. A lot of our clients do like to see a professional outfit on site. And, uh, well, it helps to cover our shortcomings, I guess. We certainly get a lot of comments saying how smart, like, the setup looks. Um, especially in the, like I said, the chippers or anything in matching colours. Um, 
So we do get a lot of comment, comments from customers and such like saying, oh, it's, it's a very smart setup. Even if they don't understand what it is we're towing behind the vehicle, they can see that it's, you know, company colors, all matching, sign written up. So, um, yeah, it, it, does, it does make you stand out and uh, present a good image. Talking about standing out, notice you haven't got a website at the moment, but your uh, most of your work's coming from Facebook. That's quite interesting, isn't it? So there's no need. You don't word of mouth, I think. Word of mouth. Okay. Okay. So I, I would, I would, I would, I would say eight, eight, eighty percent of our work is word of mouth or repeat business. And any new inquiries come from simply people see us on site, see us working. I don't know when I last had a web. I had an inquiry through the, through an email. And I, I didn't even know we still had a website, if I was honest. It's all social media now. 10 minutes, boys. That's a 10 minute mark, okay? Social media. Thanks, Marco. Social media is important, obviously. And obviously, Tom's starting to grow his follower base. I mean, he's up to a, a meager 11.9 thousand at the moment, and it's going quite well. Tom, that's, that's a serious number. How did you, did you, did it cost you a lot of money to get that many followers? <laughs> oh, I think it was about a pound a follower, yeah. Um, <laughs> How did no, you do it, just, Tom? People just uh, having this many followers. How did it happen, mate? Um, to be honest, I don't really know. Um, I never set out to gain or to, to, to get anywhere with it. I just, I enjoy my work. I enjoy working with trees um, and everything that comes with the job. And I've always enjoyed taking photos and stuff and getting a different angle on something. It just, I just started posting stuff about work and that's all I ever have done. And um, I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing uh, what I enjoy doing for a job. I think it's rare because a lot of people do say that it's rare that um, you really enjoy your job so much. I think in our industry, we all really love our job. But outside of our industry, there's a lot of people that, um, well, I don't know, they might enjoy their job to a degree, but maybe not to the same that we like love our job. So it's just sharing what I like and love doing at work. It's well, lucky that we can enjoy it so much. We've just hooked you up with one more follow there. I've just followed you there, Tom. So you can sleep all night. You've got an extra... Another pound. Yeah, another pound. Oh. I, I, I could speak to you all day, literally. But I've got a little game to play now. You can pick between the two of you who's going to play the game. Chance to win an arm lease mug, okay? Chance to win an arm lease, arm lease mug. Um, it's the yes and no game. Who's a pro at that? Oh, Jesus. Can't okay. say I've played a yes or no game. I don't... Go on, I'll do it. You can't nominate. You, it, you can't Steve's nominate in. Jesus, right? We got Steve's Steve. in. Come on. Right, okay, here he goes. Right, Steve's in. Here he comes. Right. Okay, Steve. These are the rules. Okay, you can't say yes. You can't say no. And there's no pausing for the longer than three seconds. Okay, I'm going to ask you a series of questions, fifty questions, and if you get oh, to, you automatically get a mug. Um, and that's it. Are you ready to play? I don't think Steve's that quick, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck, Steve. <laughs> Go on, prove me wrong. Okay, Steve, you're disciplinary. Go on, then. Okay, we're ready to start the game, okay? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, you ready, Steve? No. Oh, he's out! That's it! He's gone! <laughs> no, 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 no. What did I say? No! no. <laughs> he's not already! Docker! Good, um, good two and Steve. Docker! Uh oh! Yeah. That's, a, that's a first, that one! <laughs> What do they call that in cricket? Is that like a golden duck or something? That's a golden duck, yeah. And that is, that oh, is. I had to duck. think about that answer as well. Get out. <laughs> They're very rare, they are, Tom. <laughs> well, that, that was worth every penny. Gentlemen, it's been really lovely catching up with you. Thank yeah, you. I know where you live, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, thanks for checking out episode six of Five Minutes With. That was so much fun. And a big thanks goes out to uh, Steve Woody Hodgson and Tom Chopper Newbury for coming in early today, telling us about their business and the machinery they're using. Uh, Avant, Timberwolf, a few others. Look, we're going to put the links below in the social media platforms so you can find that machinery on our website. If you're interested, get in touch. We're a finance company spreading cost of ownership. Episode seven coming out very soon. And finally, I've got to say a big congratulations to Tom Chopper Newbury for passing 12,000 Instagram followers now. 
Whatever you're doing, Tom, you're doing it right. We love the content. Please keep it up and thank you for sharing. All right, guys, I hope you stay busy. Uh, um, and it, it is it is busy out there, uh, but stay safe. We'll speak to you soon.